Bakaya Chaksu Unmilitam Yenata Smai Shri Guru Venamaha Shri Chaitanya Pinopistam Stapitam Yenamuta Swayamupa Kadam Mayam Dadati Swamakadati Kam Ma Om Vishnu Padai Krishna Pistai Bhutare Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Kimane Namaste Near Vishesha Sun Yavari Pasyat Yade Satarine Panchakalpa to Rubus Chaki Pasindu for Eva Chaki Pitaram Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namaha Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadakar Sri Vasari Kaur Bhakti Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if someone comes up to me, comes up to you, or maybe to me, and says, Maharaj, um, can I have a glass of milk? And I say, well, you just uh, go down, walk down the stairs, and then you go to your left, and you walk, you keep coming, and you'll see a barn, and inside the barn there's a cow, and she's all ready for milking. So there's your milk. So what would you say to that? So if I said, if you asked me for a glass of milk, and I said, and I pointed you in that direction, what would you be your reaction? Um, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Anyone, anybody. I request devotees to please participate um, um, for Guru Maharaj's questions. Um, this is a, a thoughtful question. This must be new. Darwin, let's see. Who's, who's saying that? Uh, this is uh, Sri Devi Mataji. Okay, so if you wanted a glass of milk, and uh, I give you those directions, how would you respond? Dipti, uh, Amused? Or shocked? Dip, dipti, dipti, and Mandi said, through abused or a new a shock, or Radha Bhakti would say, "Well, look in the refrigerator and see if there's some milk in there." Guru um, Maharaj, my humble obeisances. Uh, uh, I would say that I I would think that I asked for a glass of milk, but uh, this person is leading me to the source of milk, so I could take any amount of milk. Okay, so you wouldn't mind getting ready to milk the cow for your milk then? I mean, I would, I would uh, take, it, take it as an opportunity to learn how to milk. <laughs> okay. You're very humble and very uh, willing to go with whatever situation is on. So... Let's say you have something else to do within, within the next half hour. Just want a glass of milk before them. So what would you say? I would ask for... Uh, would go somewhere else or ask if, he, if they had one glass specifically? Okay, but I mean, how would you think about the situation? What would you, what would be your reactions to my, to my speaking in that way? What would you think? Guru Maharaj, my humble obeisances, all glories to Prabhupada, all glories to you. I would probably say, oh, well, I'll just find something else to drink, Prabhu. I can, I can do all that. Okay, so in other words, you wouldn't you wouldn't go along with my uh, the way I I described how you get to milk. So what's the what's the what's the flaw in my statement or in my whole way of 
responding to your, how would you, what would you think about me in terms of how I reacted to your request? I would say that this is so inhospitable. I'm just asking for a glass of milk. And uh, this person is telling me, it's like going to a guest house and you want a glass of water and the guest says, oh, go into the kitchen and there is a fridge and open the bob thing and there's a bottle, go take it yourself. It's not very hospitable. It's not in per hospital. Diptesh and Manasi say it's in personal behavior. What else is wrong with it? Say I'm a nice person and I'm, you know, I'm really friendly and everything. What's wrong with the whole thing? I may not know how to milk the cow. I may be scared of cows. I may be really frightened by this whole prospect of going into a oh, cow. Well, that's just the example. Just say that was, say you came and you wanted to, um, say you came and you wanted to, uh, you know, uh, like you say, maybe a glass of water. And I said, well, there's, you know, go over there and get, get yourself a glass of water for yourself. The lack of service attitude, that's, that's getting closer to what I'm trying to. Uh, probably Guru Maharaj, they don't want um, uh, to serve us um, like, uh, instead of saying no, uh, they are telling like that. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's okay, but there's a particular point that I'm trying to uh, let you understand based on this uh, example that we're using. Um, what's wrong with me? I mean, I may be a nice person and friendly, but I, and that's what I tell you to do. Or if I ask you, if you ask me for anything, and then I just give you the means how you can get it yourself. The milk is just an example. If you ask me for anything. You're not fulfilling that person's need. They're needing something from you and you're refusing. It is within your power to do that for that person. Yeah, well, what's wrong with, what's, what's wrong with the, my lifestyle that's that's causing that to be happen like that. And that person is very rude uh, towards you, <clears throat> Guru Maharaj. No, I'm nice, friendly, but there's one thing wrong with me. You don't have contact. Ask for, in the lab. Ask for anything, and I and I my same answer is um, get it yourself. Shilpa Mataji is saying, do we, uh, do we have an expectation from them? It's like, don't expect anything. Okay, so you say you say you were a man and you're working and you have to come home after a hard day and, uh, and it's time for supper and your wife is reading the newspaper or just reading Krishna book and it's time for lunch and uh, And she says, well, I'm sorry, there's no lunch. I've been busy all day or no supper. I've been busy all day. What would you think about that? That's a lack of responsibility, um, Guru Maharaj. Oh, that why we're getting closer now. You're getting closer to the answer. The well, lack of responsibility. Person is, the person the is selfish. The person doesn't really care about you. No, 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 no. These are not, no. The person has a lot of care. They're friendly. They, but this is the situation. That, it has nothing to do with personal. What's wrong with the way someone just, it came a little close. Somebody just said something. Lack, lack of, of love. Lack no, of no, love. no, that's not. Lack of service attitude. Okay, you're getting closer now. A lack of service attitude because of what? 
Maybe the service attitude is there. The service is there. That's also there. Uh, maybe not uh, bothering with the actual needs of the person. No, it has nothing to do on the personal level. Everybody, everything is good on the personal level. It has nothing to do with anybody's uh, personal attitude or anything. What's wrong with the whole situation? I think recognizing our duty and the responsibility towards uh, uh, everything around us, that what position we are in and what we should be doing at that time. Okay, now you're getting closer. Now you're getting closer. So what causes that? Wrong priorities, that's getting closer. Lack of knowledge, maybe, Guru Maharaj? Wrong, wrong priorities is, is really the closest one we got yet. So. Maybe a lack of culture, Maharaj. Uh, no, it has nothing to do with, with anything like that. It's a practical thing. But it's very fundamental to our practice of Krishna consciousness. Not seeing Krishna in this person's heart and wanting to serve. No, no, no. It's nothing, nothing on the personal level. So Guru Maharaj, maybe having so, the understanding okay, that... Okay, okay. Radha Bhakti got it. Poor time management. There you go. She got it. Now you got it. The thing is, not organized. If I was organized and you came to get a glass of milk, I would have the means to get the milk for you. Or if, if I didn't have it already, ready, I would be able to get it for you if I was organized. But I wasn't organized. So I told you, get it yourself. Uh, you come home, hard day's work. Where's the supper? Wife says, I've been taking care of the children. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I'm doing this. And mm, I just didn't have any time to cook. Bad management. Poor organization. Lack of intelligence. That's where it is. So there's a story in this regard, which I'll, I'll narrate. And it happened in Vrindavan. And Srila Prabhupada was in Vrindavan. And it was the middle of the night. Prabhupada was doing his translation work. And Giriraj Maharaj was Prabhupada's personal servant. The Prabhupada rang his bell in the middle of the night. And he does that sometimes just to get to talk to someone about something important or to get something done. And so Giriraj Maharaj was notified Prabhupada wants to see you. Immediately he got himself ready, came into Srila Prabhupada's room, and Prabhupada was there. And Prabhupada was quite quiet. He wasn't saying much. And then Giriraj sat there just waiting for Prabhupada to speak. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find a text so I can give you the exact thing. With, what would transpire? Okay, I have it here. And Prabhupada said, uh, Giriraj ran down and where the Prabhupada, Prabhupada was kind of sick at that time. So he was thinking that maybe Prabhupada would be in his last words. This was towards the end of Prabhupada. Prabhupada then, after some time, when Giriraj sat down, he said, do you think this movement can go on without me? That was Prabhupada's statement. Prabhupada asked, Giriraj was astounded that Prabhupada had called him in the middle of the night to, act, to ask him this. And Giriraj's response said, I think that as long as we are sincere and go on chanting Hare Krishna and follow the principles the movement will be successful. Srila Prabhupada was silent. Then he spoke, and each word seemed to come out with some great effort. He said the word organization. Then he said organization and intelligence. Is there anything else? 
Giraj felt within his heart that he wanted to cry out. Prabhupada said, stay with us. All right, Prabhupada said. And Giraj offered his obeisances and he left. And he thought what Prabhupada had said, organization and intelligence. Not that ISKCON could survive alone on organization and intelligence, but Prabhupada wanted to make the point we have all the ingredients to spread Krishna consciousness around the world. But it takes intelligence and organization on how to do it. And that was Prabhupada's message. That we have all the ingredients and, and more. We have Krishna's mercy, we have the process, we have the resources, we have the manpower, we have everything. How will this movement go on? Organization and intelligence. So intelligence is a kind of a generic statement in this regard, in the sense that it, tight, it means, in this sense, to organize everything we have in an intelligent way to maximize the benefit of our efforts. Just like if I had a glass of milk in my refrigerator and you came and I, and you came in and I gave you the milk and uh, everything would be nice. There would be no problem, but because I didn't have the milk or I wasn't organized to be ready to respond to your request, it became something that was shocking, impossible, amusing, not practical. So this is our Krishna consciousness movement. And we see that in the life of his divine grace, he was highly, on a personal level, highly organized. So much so that people could set their watch to Prabhupada's activities. He was very, very organized in the day, how he did things every day. And he followed a very strict regimen, time regimen, in terms of taking rest, his working, his personal needs, his preaching, his meeting with devotees, his traveling, his going, his doing, his responding to correspondence, whatever Prabhupada did was highly organized. Uh, for instance, I'll give you an example of Prabhupada's schedule. Generally, and Prabhupada said this himself, he took rest between 10.30 and 11 o'clock every night. And Prabhupada wouldn't really sleep. He would just rest. He would get up around 12.30, which was maybe an hour and a half later sometimes one o'clock. And then he would begin his translations, his Bhaktivedanta purports of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And then no matter where he was, it didn't matter what country or wherever he was, he had made sure that all the facilities that he needed to do his translating work was available. And Prabhupada would work maybe sometimes three hours in the evening. And after that, he would begin chanting Japa. And then he would chant his Japa. Prabhupada chanted his Japa regularly. And around six o'clock, he would unite with the local devotees and they would go on a morning walk. And Prabhupada would use the morning walk as an opportunity to speak Krishna consciousness different ideas, topics. The, if you listen to the morning walk conversations, you'll find that there's such a broad gamut of topics that Prabhupada covered because a lot of them just came from the devotees' ideas that they wanted to speak about something and Prabhupada took it up. So from about six to seven, Prabhupada did his morning walk. Seven o'clock, he wound up at the temple and then he would uh, take the Didi Darshan, receive Guru Puja, and then after that he would return to his quarters 
and then he would have breakfast. His breakfast was usually a little bit of fruit, some chickpeas, and some fried cashews, a sandesh, I hope I always had sandesh for breakfast, or rascula, either one. And when it was really cold, if he was in a cold climate, sometimes he would have like halava or some grains. And then after that, he would rest for an hour, and then he would get up. And then he, the, the, his personal servant would get him ready for his massage. Then his secretary would come in with all the letters that had been recently come in, and Prabhupada would be getting his massage. While he's getting his massage, he would be responding to the letters as being read by his secretary. And then the massage would last sometimes usually an hour and a half to two hours. And that took him close to lunchtime. Uh, then Prabhupada, when he finished his massage, he would go, he would take his bath and then he had put on a new set of clothes. And then his, in the meantime, his lunch was being prepared. And when his, after his lunch was prepared, he would sit down and would always be ready at the same time. Usually Prabhupada took lunch around 1 or 1.30 or something like that. And Prabhupada would always eat alone and he would always remain silent. Sometimes if there were special guests, then he would share his lunch with them, but that was not a common affair. After lunch, Prabhupada took another hour of rest, and that was the last time he rested. So he rested about an hour and a half at night, an hour after breakfast, and an hour after lunch. Prabhupada says, when one gets old, they generally cannot sleep for a long period of time. Generally, Prabhupada says, older people usually break up their required rest into different segments. So then after he get back up, then he, if there was any guests to meet, he would meet guests or sometimes the devotees would come and he would meet them. Generally, there were programs in the evening and Prabhupada would travel, then that was also scheduled. So Prabhupada kept that very regulated program of activities wherever he was. He was so regulated that even when he traveled and which threw his schedule a little bit haywire, whatever time he landed in the place he was going to, he would begin his um, schedule as it was from on a day to day basis, unless he had to meet important people right away which was, in some cases, it, that was also there. But Prabhupada was highly regular, or highly organized. And he taught us that we should also be very organized. And organization requires intelligence because intelligence means to keep adjusting until you can fine tune the time that you have available in order to maximize the activities that you're performing. One who is organized, they can do so much more than a person who is not organized. And sometimes they say, this is like a euphemism, but it has some validity. If you want something done, ask a busy person. Because they know, because they're organized, they can fit things in. They just, they know how to do things. So Prabhupada wanted to make that point. And Giriraj Maharaj made this statement known to the society after Prabhupada made it, that this is our, he said, we need to be very, very organized as a temple, as a yatra, on a personal level in everything we do. So we can maximize the quality of whatever we're doing and also be able to do more and more. 
So it's interesting when Prabhupada asked the question, how will this movement go on after I'm leaving? You know, you could have gave, people would have gave hundreds of answers, but Prabhupada said by organization and intelligence. So you combine these two things and you have what is called the Kshatriya. <laughs> so in other words, perfect management, which is the category of the Kshatriya Dharma. The Brahmins, you know, they're not so tightly organized. They go along with, they are, they can also be organized, but the Kshatriyas are more organized because they have to manage not only themselves, the Brahmins usually manage themselves. The Kshatriyas have to manage themselves and those who are working underneath them. So they're highly organized now. And of course, I could interject a particular point, which means it says that if you are organized in your sadhana, then the rest of your day will be easily to manage and to deal with the different, what we say, what's the word? Different things that appear due to the day-to-day's -to -day's activities. In other words, those things we don't expect. <laughs> and so I wanted to make this point that uh, devotees should try to very much organize themselves in whatever they do. And that way, mm, organizing your eating, sleeping, recreation, time for whatever else you have to do, the more you become organized and the more you fine tune that organization, the more you'll find how much pro productivity you can produce as opposed to, well, I got some time now, I think I'll do this. No, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, like that. So yeah. So a person who is not organized, when you ask them to do something, you know what they'll tell you? I don't have any time. <laughs> That's what they say. So it's interesting how Prabhupada was a super manager. Not only this is one of the qualities of Prabhupada that maybe is not so much uh, in vogue People are not so much aware, but Prabhupada was super good at managing. He managed this whole society and all the people in it for the time he was here in such a way that when he left, it went on. Prabhupada was such a good manager. <laughs> he was the best manager. And he wouldn't try to micromanage whatever else was going on, but when people would come to him for, for advice, he would always give that advice that, was, that, that worked. Prabhupada, Prabhupada had an unbelievable, uncanny ability to use every moment in Krishna consciousness and be able to deal with anything and everything that it came to him whenever it came to him. Because he was highly organized. But it takes intelligence. That's why he added the word intelligence in there. It's not like you just put together a schedule and you call that, well, I'm organized. I actually think that, uh, and that it's an ongoing principle that you set yourself up in an organized way. Like give you an example. When uh, Prabhupada made one st statement, just like if you, if you get an idea about how to do something, what do you do? I, what I do is I write it down. So if I get an idea for a class, or something I want to do, or something that I consider to be noteworthy, I write it down. Now, I might not get to it in the immediate you know, time period, or even in a few days, but
but it's on paper and I look back, back to it. And so writing down is one of the best forms of management, learning to write down what you need to do and writing down your schedule. Uh, some of the best time managers, what they do is that before they take rest the previous night, they have a whole list of what their schedule is the next day. And there's others who do that early in the morning when they first, when they, when in the early morning hours when they rise. So it's always good to have an organized way to do things because you're much more and then when things come, you deal with them. When you're not organized, surprises can be like calamities. <laughs> and Prabhupada used to tell us about the principle of remembrance. This is a, this is a direct quote. Prabhupada said, remember means to remember to write it down. <laughs> remember means to remember to write it down. So, yeah, so I would have wanted to um, bring this point to the devotees that a lot of us, we are very Krishna conscious, but we can't manage our lives too good. <laughs> but maybe because it's just not our proclivities or our acumen or whatever, there are some people who are more organized than others by their nature, and there's others that have to learn it. And there's others who have a hard time even when they try to learn it. But it's a feature of Krishna consciousness. If you have the Kshatriyas, who are the managers, and you have the Brahmanas, who are the advisors, then those two persons work together to make everything happen. The Kshatriyas can carry it out and the Brahmins can give the advice in, in the direction on how it should be done. And then, uh, and so you'll see when you have like these big corporations, they, ha they have actually people who spend time, that's their whole service, just managing the affairs. Not so much the detail, not so much the activities, but the management system, how to improve on, on managing their businesses. Okay. Okay. And I think there's a few devotees who are listening to this lecture who are quite good in these areas. I know a few off the top of my head, I won't mention any names, but then some of us, you know, <laughs> We need to see what we need to do to improve in this area. So it's very important. And those of you who have responsibilities for management outside of your personal affairs, then you can see how important it is to organize things in an intelligent way. Because you're dealing not only with the situation, but you're dealing with the lives of other people. Okay, so some practical tips. Uh, any comments or questions? Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much for uh, bringing up this topic today and uh, um, explaining about its importance. And it's really nice to know about Srila Prabhupada's schedule, um, how he managed everything very nicely. Um, with, um, so thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. And uh, thank you all the part, uh, devotees for participating nicely in the discussion. Uh, and I request you all to go ahead and uh, uh, give your comments or realizations or questions if you have any. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna Maharaj, this is uh, Pitesh. Uh, all glory, uh, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada, all glory to you Maharaj. I just want to comment that thank you very much for this because I I do see as well on myself that uh, unless you are organized and well managed, you waste a lot of time and become inefficient. And then you think at the end of the day, probably end of the week, that you should have done so many things. And uh, because you were not managed and you did not plan it, it was wasted. 
So mm -hmm. yeah, and that's the worst thing to waste time. Time is so precious. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Further comment on that? I think what you said, Maharaj, is quite uh, a good practical tip is to write down, um, to, to, to actually have the, 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 the schedule planned out for the week, but also for the day as well. Um, I think that's a quite, quite nice tip. And it, it's simple. Uh, I think it's effective. But for me, sometimes I become a little bit lazy and not do it. That's why yeah. I find out. There's a, there's a great book by one devotee. He's not formally initiated, but he had a lot of association with the devotees. Uh, he managed his own company. Um, he was a professional tennis player and he met Srila Prabhupada. And Prabhupada spoke with him for three hours, just the two of them alone, on how to manage. And his name is Peter Burwash. Maybe some of you have heard of him. And he's written a book on, on management, the 25 characteristics or qualities of, of a good manager. I'm not sure of the exact title. Uh, my book is not within my reach. Um, but in that, he gives the, the 25 ca characteristics of uh, effective manager. Uh, so that book is available through it's a, it's Peter, Peter Burwash. Maybe somebody can look up Peter Burr, B-U-R-W-A-S-H, Peter Burwash. He's the most amazing personality. He's very Krishna consciousness. He has a wonderful family. He spends a lot of time in Vrindavan. And uh, Prabhupada gave him three hours of time, which was really rare, talking about how to manage. <laughs> yeah, he also has a Fortune 500 company. <laughs> he was the he was the most, I think, first or second most traveled person in the world, I think. He was, he was always traveling. And he was giving lectures and seminars to corporations on the principle of morality in business. And gradually he would interject Krishna conscious principles. Yeah, that's it. Great leadership. I could find that one only, Guru Maharaj. Um. Mm -hmm. I, he's, he's written a, a few books. I'm not sure the titles, though. Very helpful in execution of Krishna consciousness. So although Prabhupada was very brahminical, he was very organized. Yeah, every year he does a presentation at the Nurindavan Festival of Inspiration. And that's where I got to know him and also uh, got a few of his books. Guru Maharaj, as you're speaking, I'm remembering my parents. Both of them are highly organized. They always wrote down everything. My mother would carefully keep accounts as well as write a diary. My father actually plans his next day, the previous night. And just amazingly organized people, not very devotional. I would, well, my mother was, but he's a big materialist, but he's very organized and very efficient at what he does. And very successful too. Extremely successful, yes. Because yeah, 
Intelligence and organization, it works. But especially it's needed in our Krishna consciousness society because we've put more emphasis on philosophy and preaching and worship. And we haven't put enough time, energy to you know, developing our organizational side. Okay. If you organize your sadhana and become very fixed in your time for your sadhana, you'll find it's the foundation for developing the intelligence and the understanding how to organize everything else. The Prabhupada wanted our whole movement like that, not just each individual. Especially he wanted our managers, those who were managing temples, those who were managing yatras. So one of the things that we still need to work on as a society is that we have a very strong and very uh, long-term Brahminical culture. There's a lot of emphasis on philosophy, preaching, and uh, learning. But the foundation by which it all develops in terms of outreach and in terms of personal, uh, what we say, success, is the Kshatriya side, which we are a little bit lacking in that area. If you think you're organized, you're not. <laughs> because you don't really know what organization is until you actually get to it. Now, part of organization allows you to be flexible for emergencies and for unforeseen events. That's also a like that. So Bhakti Tirta Maharaj also put two books together called Leadership One and Leadership Two. Leadership One is organization. It's very much emphasizing the principle of organization. Do we, and let me ask you a question. Uh, you might answer this. This is just a yes or no question. I'd like to hear a few devotees. Do you always answer your phone when it rings? No. A couple, no, a couple no's out there. So far, everything is no. No. I'll answer, Guru Maharaj. Yes. You say yes or no? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yes, I say yes. You always answer your phone when it rings. Most of the time, yes, Guru Maharaj. Hmm. Yeah. In time management, it's good to see whether that call is worth answering or not. And put have a ton, like I know some managers, what they do is that they collect the phone calls at a certain, throughout a certain time period, and then at another time period, they respond to them. Because if you're interrupted by phone calls all day, you, you can't get things done. It's not possible. So you'll have to learn to see when to answer and when not to answer. And most of the time you don't answer. <laughs> Same with text messages. Just like if you 
if you send me a, a text message during my Japa period, it'll remain there until after my Japa period. If you call me during my Japa period, I won't answer. In other words, my Japa period, and I'm just using this myself as an example, is sacred. I don't break it for anything. Unless somebody comes running into the house and says the house is on fire, then maybe I'll stop my job. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> yeah. So these are practical, but these practical things are foundational for maxing my act maximizing and also finding satisfaction in the work we do. When you organize, you're also more happier. And it forces us to control the mind and senses, which is essential for practicing Krishna consciousness. Okay. Anyone else would like to make any comments or give any personal testimonies? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shila Prabhupada, all glory to Guru Maharaj. I just wanted to say that thank you so much for covering this point today. And I always felt uh, being a bazaar, working full time and uh, having some services in the temple. It's, uh, I personally feel that it's very, very important to, be, to manage our time basically and uh, also be very organized with each and everything you do. Otherwise, uh, you completely fall in mass uh, actually and you're not able to do anything. Like um, you have to wake up on time. You have to have a very regulated life. Literally, your wake-up time, your sleeping time, your each task time has to be decided. Uh, so uh, it's it's very good reminder, and thank you so much. It it was really nice uh, talk. Uh, it's very important for uh, I think each one of us to if you want to progress in our spiritual life to regulate our material life as well, like what we're doing every time you're eating, sleeping, basically what time you eat. Like usually, I've noticed like festival times if you're very late and if you're eating very late you can't get up in the morning for mangal arati it just does not happen at all so you have to make sure that uh, you're sleeping on time yeah things like that so yeah, yeah. it's essential if you're not organized you're under the control of the mind if you're organized you're under control of the intelligence mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so we'll uh, conclude here, and then uh, today is uh, Wednesday, right? Okay, and tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we uh, will do a program with the devotees from Harrisburg, and they have a system of series of verses. So tomorrow's verse is first canto fourth chapter verse number 19 if you want to look at it ahead of time so we'll speak about that tomorrow and then on Friday with the devotees in Charlotte and that's fifth canto first chapter verses 32 and 33 that's for Friday okay and soon um, I'm looking for a time period where we can begin. Uh, I want to speak on Lord Chaitanya's pastime of the march on the house of the Chankasi, which is one of the most amazing pastimes in Chaitanya Leela. Okay. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Okay, for thank you. So we'll Thank you very much and we'll say goodbye to everyone. Hare Krishna.
Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Sikalpa Dhrubhishya Kripa Sindhu Vaivacha Patitanam Bhavane Vyo Vaishnave Vyo Namaho Namaha Gaur Bhakti Vinda Ki Jai. Maharaj, you don't have time today to chant Jamadas? Oh. You're more organized than I am. Thank you. <laughs> that's not true, Maharaj. Thank you, Mataji. Um, even I, I was about to ask her, Maharaj. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. She saved you from asking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So everyone sit straight in either in a chair or cross-legged. Jai Sri Krishna. Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Vidanhar, Sri Vasadi Gaur Bhaktivindam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, the Rama, Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, the Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, the Rama, 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 Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, the Rama, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, the Rama, 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 Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Krishna Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Hari, Hare Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hari Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Rama 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 Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Rama Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna 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 Hare Kr
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Krishna Krishna, Ram Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 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 Hare